A friend of mine told me that sex and gender are different. Sex being biological and gender being more fluid and social. True or BS? Sort this, of, kind of. Yeah, so, so I feel like writing 18 books on this. No, no, I think we got um, this. We got no, one but, sentence. Well, we, so, okay, go for the one sentence. The one I, sentence I have is gender is the software of sex. Does that make it more flexible? Yes. But gender is the software of sex gives us the correct inference, which is that this is not a completely free variable. This is also subject to evolutionary pressures and evolutionary history. Um, there is much more reason to expect variation between populations and how this uh, parameter functions. There's also reason to expect that we have more room going forward to change gender than we do sex. But the, to say that gender and sex are different is not to say the thing that is usually implied when people invoke that, which is that uh, gender is an arbitrary landscape that we are free to choose. You recognize that wasn't one sentence, right? Uh, there was one. That at was the about the eight sentences I was going to say. But oh, let me let, <laughs> let me let me um, also say, um, I, you know, I, I have written about this a, a fair bit already and spoken about it in various places. Um, in non-human organisms, the thing that we call gender in humans, we call sex role, and it's effectively the behavioral component that is mostly predictable from what sex you are. And so, for instance. In uh, the much trotted out by the trans rights activists, generally not what I call true trans, but in um, the trans rights activists like to point out uh, hermaphroditic sex switching fish, sequentially hermaphroditic fish, reef fish like clownfish and damselfish and such, um, which as if that suggests that people can do the same thing. And of course, it means no such thing. But uh, what happens in these fish is uh, for, depending on the ecology of the particular species, at the point that a male switches to a female, actually switches to a female, goes from producing sperm to producing ovaries, has anatomical and physiological changes that accompany that that are also about the sex, but also changes the behavior uh, from male typical behavior to female typical behavior. And the behavior is the gender, it's the sex role. So are there things that men and women do that are sex typical, sex stereotypical, if you wish, uh, that, uh, that are true across cultures? Yeah, um, less so across all cultures than within cultures. Uh, are the things that we behaviorally do that aren't absolutely mandated by our uh, anatomy and physiology, like breastfeeding and gestating and ejaculating and things like this, uh, are, are things that are behaviorally following from sex more flexible and malleable than sex itself? For sure. Uh, but of course, a lot of the trans ideology that is being trotted out suggests that um, the behavior is the same. So, I mean, they're they're doing a kind of a Mott and Bailey thing where they claim, oh, we're only talking about gender, and then they'll also claim in the next breath that um, sex isn't real either. So sex and gender are different, but gender follows from sex. And yes, we can unhook some of the traditional expectations of gender roles. Oh my goodness. Um, um, usually that's not in the room. Uh, we can unhook some of the traditional expectations of gender roles uh, as we come to understand why they're there.